Hey everyone, today it is about it's a new character, everyone. Bushiguro Megumi. Yes, from enemy Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, I'm actually in love with him. I'm in love. Love, you know how I was being like. like. But he was there and I fell in love the first time I saw him. He was just so handsome. So very handsome. And I, I couldn't. I couldn't help myself but fall in love. But to fall in love. Yeah. But before you guys say that I'm um uh copying the stories my sister nope no way we're just we watched uh the, the two guys in together and i fell in love with him and we both fell in love with them and also wait wait gojo gojo sorry gojo 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 so cute and he's so handsome i love his eyes like very very much very they're very handsome bro and his white hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. And Itadori. Itadori is very handsome too. Like, bruh. Pink hair. <laughs> I love pink hair. Sakuna. But to be honest, Fushiguro is the prettiest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Nigumi, I love you. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> Stormy days have always been Fushiguro's favorites. Although it doesn't seem like that, whenever there is a storm outside, Fushiguro enjoys watching the storm from the comfort of his room, hearing the sound of raindrops hitting against the glass and the faint smell of fresh rain that seems to be able to wiggle its way through the wooden panel that builds the school. It was also a few of those quiet moments he gets to share with someone he loves the most. Curled up together underneath his warm sheets while they enjoyed the free time together. With how hectic the students can get whenever they get a day off and it's storming outside. Fushiguro can happily cancel out of his unnecessary plans without feeling a hand of God and spend it with his lover and longtime childhood friend. When they were still young, they would curl up underneath Gojo's cheeks as they watched the rain from his bed and all, sharing scary stories while getting comfort from the older man's scent. It was the few moments in his childhood that he can cherish, since it was the few times where he felt like an actual kid. Right now, the rain is pouring outside at the guns and curled up underneath Fushiguro's black sheets were the young couple. Both of their arms wrapped around each other while they enjoyed the sound of the storm weighing on outside. Fushiguro blinked his eyes sleepily at this feeling of the familiar hand carting through his messy black hair. His own hands find themselves underneath his lover's shirt. His large hand spread over their backs soothingly. In return, he felt their fingers tracing soft patterns in between his shoulder blades, an action that's causing him to nuzzle closer into their warmth. It was a known fact that Fushiguro can be aloof, always sporting at a night or bored look when he's with others. However, it's a whole different story when it comes to his relationship. He becomes to the most cuddly and somewhat demanding man when it comes to affection. Even though, outside of your room, he's more awkward and unsure. Once the door is closed between you and the real world, he just gives into his desires and demand for all the attention and cuddles he wants. Especially when it's storming outside. Pushigaro felt his hair being pushed off his forehead before a soft pair of laps, pressed the kiss against his skin, causing the black-haired man to smile lazily, shifting his head to cast glance up with raised eyebrows. The action caused them to let out a soft feel, a sound so carefree and innocent that it sent a flutter through his heart. Soft green eyes stared at them, with so much warmth and love. 
letting his lover's hand shift away from their actions before in favor of cuffing his cheeks in their hands. Puppy, Fishiguro raised an amused eyebrow at the words, leaning into their touch when he felt their soft thumbs, rubbing soft circles against his cheekbones. You're my puppy, they could once more, but such a bright smile on their face that it caused Fushiguro to blush slightly. A strong sense of adoration for this person filling his chest. He was sure they can feel how his heart was skipping from the emotions he was feeling. Really? Mm hmm. They hummed with a soft nod, gently squeezing his cheeks together in their hands. While the man shifted, so he was gauging his lover against how in the mattress beneath them, resting his elbows on either side of their head. Fushigura looked down at them with soft eyes, leaning into their soft touch for a moment before he turned his head to press a loving kiss against his lover's palm. In return, the same hands, cupping his cheeks, immediately wrapped themselves around his neck, pulling him closer to them as he chuckles and lowered his body as well, resting his forehead against theirs. His loving eyes just locked into the others, just as the feeling started grabbing at his chest, causing him to get a little overwhelmed at the need to express his love somehow. I love you. He suddenly talked out, flushing harder when he saw the soft trace of a curious eyebrow raise. Everyone knows that Fushiguro finds it hard to express himself, even when it comes to expression, his love verbally. So whenever he does, it brings a shock to everyone around him. I love you too, Gumi. But what's the session? I... I just wanted to say it. Fushiguro mutters back shyly before he closed his eyes and immediately fell into the comfort of his lover's neck, feeling his blush worsen at the sound of their laughter as their arms wrapped around him once more. Who are you, and what have you done to my moody and emotionless Megami? They could teasingly, causing Fushiguro grunt a little, wondering if Gojo had managed to influence you to start poking fun at them. So mean. With another laugh, he felt familiar hands running through his hair gently, their fingers gently scratching at the back of his head the way he likes that, just feeling these soothing emotions and the warmth and love that he feels being in his lover's embrace as his long lashes start to flutter against the soft neck of his lover, who can immediately tell the young shaman was about to fall asleep even more so, one, Fushiguro just nuzzled closer into their neck, his arm tightening around them even more. You tired? A soft nod and loud hum was the only reply. And with that, Fushiguro tangled his legs with his lover once more, coupled up with the sound of a storm raging on outside. It slowly pulled the shaman to dreamland. I guess a nap wouldn't hurt. He heard and felt his lover's voice, feeling the soft rumble of their stomach as they spoke. This just made him a little closer, enjoying the feeling of love and comfort that came from just the simple act of someone giving them all, all of their affection and love through a hug. It was a feeling that he still never want to forget. Good night, puppy. I love you. With that, the two young shamans fell asleep to the sound of the rain against the window in the room. Both of them curled up against each other without another care in the world. Oh, that's so cute. I love Shigeru. I love you, Megumi. Gumi. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. How are you? Okay. I'm fine, I guess. Yep. Okay, thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Goodbye. Mwah.